NASA's Europa Clipper will explore an icy moon of Jupiter to see if there are conditions that could support life. Let's head into the spacecraft assembly facility behind me to see how the mission is coming together. I'm Raquel Villanueva, here today with Jordan Evans and Trina Ray. Before we can head inside, there is one more step we need to take. We have to gown up. We have to protect the spacecraft from us, all the particles that might fall off of us. So to cover our hair, we have to not wear makeup, no perfume. The Europa Clipper mission is a spacecraft that we're sending out of the Jupiter system. It's going to orbit Jupiter, but fly by the moon Europa. And it's a moon that is, we think, has an ocean underneath and we want to investigate that. We'll be in this room until we ship to the Kennedy Space Center for our launch campaign in the late spring of next year, 2024. During that time, it'll make a couple of trips out of this building for testing. We have so many questions about Europa. We have an icy crust with an ocean underneath, and the water that's in that ocean has been sort of, you know, churning and stewing for like four billion years. And so we've got a lot of questions to try to answer about the interior or about the geology or about the composition. To answer those scientific questions, obviously we have to get to Europa first. So one of the key elements of the spacecraft design is being able to bolt the spacecraft onto the rocket. That'll give us the energy we need to get to Jupiter. And then once we're at Jupiter, being able to generate electric power and accommodate our very large solar panels and our very large high gain antenna to send that science data back to Earth. And all of that has to be done with materials that are safe for the immense radiation environment at Europa. Jordan, what are we looking at here? Starting at the far end, that's the interface to the launch vehicle. That's where we bolt Europa Clipper to the Falcon Heavy rocket. And from there, that cylindrical portion, inside there are our propulsion tanks. There's that red cover, which is protecting some sensitive communications electronics where our large high gain antenna mounts. And then you'll see there's some paper on the outside. And those are actually patterns for the sewing that's required on our thermal blankets. Thermal blankets with the right optical properties to maintain the temperatures of the vehicle, as well as provide protection from micrometeoroids. Trina, can you kind of tell us more about the instruments that we can see here? We don't have all of our instruments on board yet, but what we do have is over here, kind of around this way, are three of our cameras. They're installed on that far piece right there. We have cameras that operate in the visible. We have cameras that operate in the infrared, cameras that operate in the ultraviolet. Those all look at Europa at the same time, just in different wavelengths. But then we also have a thermal imager. So think of that as like the, like the night vision goggles, right? So what you're looking for there is a thermal signature. So imagine you have this ocean and it's churning away and it makes the ice right above it a little bit warm. And so the thermal imager will be able to tell you that. And seeing the spacecraft up close, I just want to know what does this mission mean to the both of you? It represents the hundreds of thousands, the millions of hours of the dedicated engineers and technicians and scientists. I treasure my job every day. I come to work and I'm like, we're gonna do our part. We're gonna answer these questions, but we're gonna ask the next questions for the next generation to be inspired and to build their spacecraft and go. Thanks for watching Spacecraft Makers. If you have any questions about Europa Clipper or wanna see something in the series, let us know in the comments.